Nasagot naman tayo ng mga functions invo- involving natural logarithms or yung ln. So, ang pagkuhan ng derivative ng ln, given for example, um, ln, u, wherein u is our function, yung derivative ng ln u using the formula is 1 over u times du all over dx. So, ito yung formula ng pagkuhan ng derivative ng ln. So, for problem number 1, if we have to find the derivative ng ln 2x where u is 2x, so, ang pagkuhan ng derivative niya is simply 1 over 2x times yung derivative ng 2x and we know the derivative of 2x is simply 2 so it's equal to 2 all over 2x or 1 over x so yan yung de- derivative ng 2x using our formula yan yung answer sa problem number 1 now to answer problem number 2 if we have to find the derivative ng ln 2x squared plus 1 using yung formula ng ddx ng ln u which is 1 over u times du dx so using the formula we'll have 1 all over 2x squared plus 1 multiplied by the derivative ng 2x squared plus 1 at alam natin yung derivative ng 2x squared plus 1 is 4x so pagkuha mo ngayon ng function niya so multiply by 1 over 2x squared plus 1 times this so ang ddx niya ngayon is simply equal to 1 over 2x squared plus 1 multiplied by 4x and if you want to simplify it, pwede mo siyang isulat as 4x all over 2x squared plus 1. So, yan yung derivative ng problem number 2. Now, so problem number 3, kukunin daw natin yung derivative ng lnx raised to the third power. So, dalawang rules yung gagamitin natin dito. Yung derivative ng ln yung ddx ng ln u plus yung chain rule. So, yan yung gagamitin natin. So, unahin muna natin yung chain rule. So, bababa natin si 3 multiplied by ln x raised to 2 times yung derivative naman ng inside which is derivative ng ln x. So, yung derivative ng ln x is simply 1 over x times 1, which is the derivative of u, which is x. So, pag pinagsama natin siya, yung ddx niya will be 3 times ln x squared times 1 over x. So, yan yung derivative ng problem number 3, which you can further simplify na 3 ln x squared all over x. So, yan yung derivatives ng three functions na simple lang kasi kailangan nilang lang natin kunin yung derivative ng ln u which is 1 over u du dx. Now, yung next set of problems na sasagutan natin, yan naman yung pagkuha ng derivative ng um, function na ginagamitan ng rules or properties of logarithm starting with number 4. So, so, number 4, we have f of x is equal to ln of square root of x plus 1. So, to use the derivative ng ln, modify natin yung function into x plus 1 raised to 1 half. And since we're using uh, a logarithm, using the properties of logarithm, yung product property ng logarithm, pwede natin ibaba yung exponent at gawing one half times ln of x plus one yung ating 
function. So, meron na ngayon tayong function na to. So, pwede na natin gamitin yung uh, derivative rule ng constant at saka ng function. So, f prime of x will simply be 1 half. So, ignore the constant the constant at kunin nyo yung derivative ng ln x plus 1. At yung derivative ng ln ng x plus 1 will simply be 1 all over x plus 1 times derivative nito which is 1. Multiplied syempre nung 1 half kanina. So yung f prime of x natin, f prime of x is simply 1 half times 1 over x plus 1. Or you can rewrite it as 1 all over 2 times x plus 1. So, yan yung derivative no problem number one by using the um, properties of logarithm para masimplify yung function. Now, yung problem number five natin, medyo complicated siya, pero pag ginamitan natin siya ng properties of logarithm, it will be really basic. So, i-modify muna natin yung problem number five. So, number five, we have f of x is equal to ln of x times x squared plus 1 squared divided by 2x squared minus 1 raised to 1 half. Now, mapapansin nyo, meron tayong three terms. 1, 2, 3. So, that, that means pwede natin ihiwahiwalay yung logarithm function nat natin sa three terms. So, yung bago natin function will be ln of x plus 2 ln of x squared plus 1 minus 1 half ln of 2x squared minus 1. So, ginamitan natin siya ng uh, properties ng logarithms, yung uh, power property, yung product property, at saka yung quotient property. Kaya pwede natin i-rewrite yung ln function natin into this form. And by doing so, meron tayo ngayong 1, 2, and 3 terms na hiwa-hiwalay. So, mas madali na natin gamitin yung derivative rule kesa gamitin yung quotient rule sa pagkuha ng derivative ng function na ito. So, yung f prime of x natin will be the derivative ng x. So, ang derivative ng x is 1 over u times derivative of u which is 1. Tapos yung derivative naman ng second function will be 2 times 1 over x squared plus 1 times 2x. At yung derivative ng third function natin would be 1 half times 1 over 2x squared minus 1 multiplied by 4x. So, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, and we can simplify our derivative function by f prime of x is equal to, simplify natin to into 1 over x, plus this can be simplified by multiplying 2 and 2x, so pwede natin siyang isulat as 4x all over x squared plus 1. At yung third term natin, pwede natin i-rewrite by simplifying this, we can divide 1 half and 4, so meron ka na lang natitirang 2 dito, so we'll have 2x all over 2x squared minus 1. So ito ngayon yung derivative nung problem number 5 using the properties of logarithm, and then yung derivative rule na pagkuha ng derivative ng ln u. Now yung number 5, gagamitan din natin siya ng um, ln or logarithmic property but this time since yung function natin number 5 is equal to x square root of x yung form ng function nito is f of x raised to another function g of x so hindi siya pwedeng gamitan ng rule ng e to the u du dx or yung derivative ng constant raised to a function kasi yung form niya is function on top of a function. So when this happens, pwede natin gamitin yung logarithm by multiplying both sides ng ln. So mumultiply natin to ng ln. So magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng 
ln y equals ln of x square root of x. Now using yung prod, um, power property ng logarithmic, pwede natin siyang change into square root of x multiplied by ln x. And by modifying our function, makikita nyo na uh, gagamitan natin ng product rule yung derivative ng x ln x para makuha natin yung derivative niya. So, if we're going to find the derivative ng left side at derivative ng right side, ang derivative ng l and y will be implicit differentiation would be 1 over y times dy dx. Kasi we're um, taking the derivative of a function with respect to x at yung variable niya is y. And yung paggamit naman ng product rule para dito, so we can use derivative of the first, so 1 half x to the negative 1 half multiplied by ln x plus copy yung first function which is square root of x multiplied by the derivative of ln x which is 1 over x times 1. So this is now our derivative function so by modifying it we'll have 1 over y change dy dx to y prime kasi yun yung um, another notation on dy dx at itong function na to naman pwede natin siyang i-change into 1 over 2 square root of x at ito multiply natin siya mamaya so ln x plus this can be simplified into square root of x over x so yung y natin nandito pa sa kabilang side we need y prime or yung derivative function so what we can do is we're going to multiply yung both sides ng y and by doing so, we'll be able to get rid of y right here. And we are left with y prime is equal to ln x all over 2 square root of x plus square root of x over x multiplied by the function y. Now, if you want to simplify it further, we can change y to on sa given function. At ang original function natin ng y is y equals x square root of x. So we can rewrite our answer into ln x to square root of x plus square root of x over x multiplied by x raised to the square root of x. So, ito yung two possible answers na pwede natin gamitin sa pagkuhan ng derivative ng y equals square root of x. So, yung original function natin is y square root of x. At ito yung derivative function natin.